get I did walk to school. I, I had the armband in my pocket. I, I was nervous. By then it was in the news, and um, I was nervous that somebody would just drive by and, and uh, give me a hard time. Early, a, a year earlier, I had had the experience for no reason at all of somebody throwing a beer can full of beer <laughs> at me while I was just walking down the street, and that kind of went through my mind. And I knew that there was a lot of um, hatred, really, uh, toward people who opposed the war, and, uh, and that the people who felt like that w were pro-war that they were not necessarily, all of them, so polite and civilized, and, and that they were capable of doing things they, you know, violent acts. And anyway, I walked to school with the armband in my pocket, and uh, I, I played in the orchestra, so I went to orchestra practice, and I still didn't have the armband on, and I was sort of embarrassed to put it on in front of people. And so I went uh, from orchestra practice when that was over. I went up to our homeroom, and um, and I still didn't want to pin it on in homeroom class, so I still didn't have it on. So after homeroom, I went into the restroom and uh, kind of struggled, really, with a safety pin, trying to pin it on the other arm with one hand. And, and uh, one of the other students came in to the restroom and saw me struggling like that, and he helped me pin the armband on. I, I thought that was nice. And then I went to, the, um, to my classes. So I went to three classes uh, with the armband on, and nobody said anything. And I'm pretty sure one of my teachers, uh, Mr. Worden, the math teacher, saw the armband but decided not to do anything about it. And that was interesting to me. And then when I went to gym class, uh, the last class I had for the, um, for the morning, I didn't wear it. I, I was in my gym clothes then. But when I got um, dressed after gym, after my shower, I got dressed and um, I put it on, instead of on a dark coat like I have on right now, I, I put it on a white shirt that I had on under it. And uh, it stood out very, very well then. And I went to lunch. And I sat with uh, my usual friends at lunch at my usual table. And a couple of kids came over and started harassing me, calling me a commie and a coward and things like that. And, and a football player, Steve Klein, uh, came over to our table. And he addressed the kids that were harassing me. And he said, look, uh, you have your opinions about the war. John has his opinion about the war, and John has a right to his opinion, so leave him alone. And that was a very nice thing to have happen. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> I didn't know him personally, really, at the time, but I, I've come to know him s since, and we're, we're friends now, we're Facebook friends. But mm -hmm. um, anyway, it was, uh, <laughs> it was quite an experience. So a, a, a clerk from the office saw me in the lunchroom with the armband on, and she reported that to the office. And so my first period in the afternoon, uh, there was a phone call, Mr. Laurie's class, English class, and um, Mr. Laurie answered the phone, and he looked back at me, and he said, John Tinker, you are to report to the office. And everybody knew what that was about. I was wearing the armband. And, so I went to the office, and um, the boys' advisor was gone for the day, so I, I talked directly with the principal, Don Wetter. And uh, we sat there in his office, and um, he was, he patronized me some, he paternalistic, but in a kind of a good sense. He, he was fatherly with me. He, uh, he thought that maybe I didn't um, understand the importance of supporting the government in a time of war. Uh, he thought perhaps I'd been listening to some bad advice from people. Um, and I tried to convince him how wrong the war was and how right it was for me to wear the armband. And he, he really 
treated me with a certain degree of respect, which I appreciated very much. And at the end of, I think it was maybe 45 minutes, a, a really nice long talk, um, he said, well, I'm going to ask you to take off the armband. And if you take it off, you can go back to class and it will be just like nothing happened. He said, uh, he said but I don't think you're going to take it off, are you? <laughs> And I said, no, I'm not. And he said, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to send you home. I can't have you in school with the armband on, but I'm not going to open a file on it. I'm not going to formally suspend you, but, but you can't be in school with the armband. And so uh, I called my dad, and my dad came and picked me up.